Actually, I'm just running around in circles. All right, you guys, welcome back. I thank you so much for being patient with me. Um, I've been on a little bit of a break from YouTube. One thing I did find out, though, and you might all get a kick out of this, and y'all might be like, oh, well, duh, Matthew, is um, frying noodles makes me a heck of a lot more popular than sitting here talking to you guys. So I think that's kind of funny. If you want to check out that video, um, head on over to my TikTok and obviously go follow me, duh. But go, go find my noodle video and watch me frying noodles. So anyway, let's, let's knock this out. First off, we haven't done this in a while. And I would love to get a, give a little bit of social media gratitude to all of you guys. Every single one of you. Like, I'm just going to throw pictures of random people up here. Or not random people, but my followers or my support group. Like, thank y'all so much for just bearing with me. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for reaching out. So thank you so much for that. But let's dive into it. So a conversation that I had not too long ago with a friend was how all these celebrities and all these YouTubers and everything like that, they, you don't see their story per se. You don't see their come up. You just wake up one morning and so-and-so's got the next viral video and so everybody's on board with them and they're making tons of money, chasing their dreams and we're just filling their dreams with whatever money and income and views and likes they desire and want. So I saw into one of my friends and he just, he didn't realize the struggle or he wasn't comprehending the struggle that people go through on a daily basis. You know, I posted, I posted a, um, I posted a post. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I posted on Instagram not too long ago about how 0.1% are the lucky ones. 0.1% are the ones that are born into it. 0.1% are the ones that make a video not expecting it to go viral and next thing you know they've just shot to fame. Simply not how it works. There is a lot of hustle. There is a lot of grind to doing what you do, especially when you come to content creation. And a lot of us, I myself included, get crazy, crazy discouraged when a video doesn't get a lot of views. Crazy discouraged to the point where I want to take it down and re-edit it, remaster it to where I think that I can make it better. In all actuality, I just ended up not producing something that was worth watching or and the masses saw that it wasn't worth watching. And that is something that we all as content creators have to realize is you're going to have videos and songs that flop. You're going to have videos and songs that do excellent. So I'm kind of glad that I'm starting this and talking about this video because, or bringing this up into this video because it is true. I mean, it's like I said at the beginning, I can literally sit here and pour my heart and soul out into these videos and hoping that it will touch somebody. And it does. It ultimately does touch somebody. And I reap that satisfaction and I get that satisfaction because I planted a seed to help somebody further their dream and further their goal and that is solely what this platform is however does it get the views that I think it should no it doesn't however I can be on TikTok and throw noodles in a fryer pointless entertainment and it wasn't even that funny throw noodles in a fryer and get 45 that actually we're probably up to 60,000 views right now on one 15 second video. So I've learned a lot over the past couple of months doing these videos and just figuring it all out. And that's what I was telling my friend is like, you gotta find what works. You might think you have a hit, you might think you have the next best video, but hard facts is, is that sometimes it might flop. And that's where the passion comes in. That's where the desire to want to create more, the desire to want to figure it all out comes from. And that's one of the desires that keeps me, keeps my flame burning is that I want to figure out how to succeed in a new challenge and how to succeed in a passion that I have, which is film, which is doing YouTube videos and everything like that. And I love seeing all these new up-and-coming vloggers and all these new how-to-do-it and just 
funny videos and all that. Like, I love to see this all coming to fruition. However, I just want to sit there and not be a Debbie Downer and just be like, look, if you're not doing it for the passion, don't do it at all because you're going to go through dark days to where you post something that you've worked on for 10 hours and it might only get four views. So solely do it for the passion. And and even going into your every day-to-day -day life, like do everything you do with passion. Do everything you do with humility because you will enjoy it better. You will learn from it better. So with that, you guys, I'm going to leave it here because I'm going to film another one and another one. And I'm going to, and now until Christmas, y'all are going to get a lot of Matthew Christopher. So stay, stay tuned every week. Um, if you are looking for some mindless entertainment, check out my, my TikTok link below. Check out my Instagram. Also, a new little app that I have recently discovered and one of my followers has put me on this app and I am in love with this app is called Rumble. It's R-U-M-B-L and you can find it in the app store but it's called Rumble and Rumble is some people's opinions and just different discussions on there and it's really interesting. So I encourage you if you're looking for a new little app check out Rumble. So there's a lot going on. I didn't just crawl under a rock I promise. I am here. I am here to entertain and Put a smile on your face, and I hope I did that today. So get out there, do your thing, stay epic, you guys, and y'all have a wonderful day. Peace.